second in a series of videos aimed at assisting APS members with how to enter their photographs in International. In this tutorial I will cover why images entered into salons with fiat patronage must have a title, how to title your photo and the issues with problematic titles. Titling your photos may seem like a trivial topic but it's actually one of the most important things to get right if you are entering international exhibitions. Before we start, I would like you to bookmark this website as much of the information I'm about to discuss can be found here. Let's just briefly visit that website address that I just gave you, which is for the Australian Photographic Society. This is the home page, and if you scroll down on this home page, you'll come to the FIAP logo. If you click on more information, this will take you to a page with information and its own menu of all the things that we are associated with when we participate in FIAP activities. In particular, I would like you to be familiar with the Salon Entrant Essentials page, uh, for this is where a lot of the information that I'm going to cover in this tutorial is located. If you are entering international salons that are run under fiat patronage, you are required to give each image that you enter a title. The image will be disqualified if it is entered under its file number or if it is labelled untitled. Most importantly, this title must be unique to your own images and it must remain identical every time the image is entered in such salons regardless of which section in the salon it is entered in. In effect, the title associated with your name is the identifier for that image. Regardless of whether you modify the image, such as crop the image, change it to monochrome or alter the content, just to list a few of the common modifications, if it has come from the same file it is deemed to be the same photograph for exhibition purposes and must always be entered under the same title when entering international salons under fiat patronage. As other organisations can have similar or identical rules, it is best practice to retain a single title for an image no matter where that image is entered or displayed. There are two major reasons why rules require that an image must only be known by one title. Firstly, record keeping. Salons record which images have been in their exhibition by the image titles. Once an image has been accepted for exhibition, it cannot be entered into that same exhibition again. Secondly, Honours and distinction systems around the world, such as FIAP distinctions, set criteria that must be achieved to gain honours for their organisation. These are frequently based on achievements in exhibitions and often involve having a certain number of different images being successful. Such images are listed by the title as their identity. Now let's talk about choice of title. For this I am going to use a fictional set of results on a FIAP distinctions application form. It is often not until a FIAP distinctions applicant lodges their first application that the issues with their titles are noticed. Salons and honours systems worldwide use computer programs for their results. So for starters, never exceed 35 characters for your titles, including the spaces between words. The Photographic Society of America approved salons must have the ability to accept 35 characters. However, FIAP do not set a minimum character allowance and some salons have a limit as low as 27 characters. Long titles may be rejected or truncated, in which case the title has been altered. Never start a title with a numeric number. Computer programs can misinterpret this as part of the program. Never use any characters other than letters and numbers. Some characters are ignored 
or were even removed by Ceylon computer programs. And humans can also make the same mistake by leaving out certain punctuation marks or symbols. Looking down this list, there is an immediate concern about the use of punctuation, such as apostrophes. But let's look at this list when we've got the results sorted according to, in alphabetical order according to title. Here we can see can't win, both with and without an apostrophe. To you and I, this would look clearly to be the same title. But when a computer program looks at this, it is going to see it differently. This whole set of letters beyond the apostrophe are moved one space to the right. And this title will be counted separately by a computer. Sometimes that such a, an omission could be made by the entrant or it could have indeed been removed by the Salon computer software. If the apostrophe is not there in the first place, you can't have that problem arise. The same could have happened with don't pass or do not pass is even worse because that moves it even further and they're not even in consecutive spots on the, on the list, which means that it's easy for an applicant to make the mistake of counting them separately, as I have shown here, uh, that being the title count in that column. The use of hyphens, such as in the word ice cream. Ice cream is for sharing, ice cream is for sharing. Again, it has moved a whole set of letters, one character across, and they will show up differently in a computer system. In the case of FIAP, the distinctions applications are all checked by computer software against the results in the FIAP database. So every result on an application must match the database. So you cannot simply amend titles on an application to make them all the same. Avoid titles starting with the, a or an. Let's look at the title last man standing. A last man standing. Last man standing. The last man standing. Not only would a computer count these separately, but many applications that I have seen with similar situations have the applicant has counted them separately. Do not add BW or the word mono after a, an image title. Lots of people used to do this so that they it, it was clear which was their monochrome version and which was their colour version. It's fine if you want to record that on your own computer just so you know what you've entered. But when it comes to the actual official title of your image, you must keep the one title regardless of which version it is. It is also far from ideal to use version numbers. And I see this a lot. Uh, fur seal number one and fur seal number ten. A single digit separates those two titles and it is so easy for that single digit to be left off, to be muddled with another title or indeed it's even possible that a salon system might remove that zero making both those two images first seal number one. It's a single typo that separates those two titles. It is much better to separate them by a full word. Numbering also lends itself to issues with how you show numbering. Let's look at wandering. Wandering labelled wandering hashtag one, wandering no space one, wandering no without the space and a one. All three again will show up in different spots and in fact in this in, in this example two of them are in a different spot to the other one. Images recorded under more than one title create problems for salons and can result in applicants receiving honours to which they are not entitled, so it's taken very seriously. Regardless of whether you, have, you even expect to apply for FIAP distinctions, you must take care with your titles. So in summary, 
Keep an image's title identical every time you enter it in competition. Keep your title short. Don't use punctuation. Don't start the title with the, a or an. Don't use characters other than letters and numbers. And in fact, errors are easier to avoid if you don't use numeric numbers at all. Thank you.